The COVID-19 pandemic, which has placed a stranglehold on countries all over the world from the beginning of the year 2020, following the outbreak of the mystery illness allegedly emanating out of Wuhan, China in late 2019, has engendered the implementation of all sorts of regulations and protocols in an effort to combat the pandemic. While Grenada and indeed the world has become accustomed to the COVID-19 protocols such as the wearing of masks, social distancing, and hand washing, some countries across the region are now mulling the proposal of introducing mandatory vaccination as a further methodology to fight the COVID-19 pandemic. The introduction of vaccine mandates in various Caribbean countries was discussed on the Beyond the Headlines program. What is being discussed is um, mandatory vaccination, which would be uh, there would be certain privileges that the individual would not be able to uh, get and certain opportunities that they would not be able to enjoy if they do not get vaccinated. Uh, so it's the, the government here, uh, uh, Prime Minister Gaston Brown has indicated, look, uh, there's no uh, appetite to do that. Uh, the, the government at one point indicated that it could be put on the issue, put on the table as a last resort, but uh, cabinet has taken no decision on it, and certainly it has not gone to parliament to, in terms of countenance that. But uh, even when the issue is broached as a possible last resort, uh, there was quite a bit of a stir in terms of some sections of society saying, look, uh, that is absolutely unconstitutional. Uh, nobody should be forced to do that. Professor at Auckland University, Dr. Mark Niven, relayed that there are many good reasons to consider vaccine mandates. However, he disclosed that there are philosophical, political, and practical implications of introducing these mandates. So there are many good reasons to consider mandates. And I want to be clear that, of course, mandates can be effective at increasing vaccine coverage. And that's a good reason to consider them. Um, I worry, though, as you suggest, that, that some people uh, and some countries and advocates of mandates are not giving sufficient consideration to the various social and political costs. So we often hear um, discussion of mandates framed as if it were a debate between public health versus parent liberty. And of course, parent liberty matters, but it's by far not, not the only consideration that matters. Uh, and so I worry about the broader social and political costs. Uh, when you invoke state power in a new way, when you bring down the power of the government on people, uh, you change much more than just the relationship between that individual governed person and the state. Meanwhile, anti-vaxxers, vaccine skeptics, and the critics of a mandatory vaccination policy want to protect their individual freedoms. The burning issue that pervades the topic of mandatory vaccination among some individuals is whether it would be lawful for the government to embark on that course of action. Krista Campbell, GBN News.